What is good, Tesla family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be breaking down what's going on with Tesla stock, what's going on with Elon Musk as he's making a lot of headlines about what's going on with his uh, Tesla shares. I'm going to be breaking down whether or not he's going to likely be selling shares for the short term or not. Before I break anything down all this information, before I talk about what these uh, articles are saying, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to six free stocks. If you deposit uh, $500 into the account, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks plus six months of free level two data. If you put in $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 70 free stocks plus 12 months of level two data. This offer ends in just about 13 days, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with Tesla. So, in a crazy day today, Tesla basically got a very, very nice pump going up about uh, to about 246.6. Uh, we ended up projecting just under our resistance around this like 247 area. Then it came all the way back down towards our 50 EMA on the 30 minutes time frame at this 237.5 area. And since then, it was stuck between 237.5 and 240, closing in the green up 1.33%. But it wasn't that great of a close after how much we pumped and after how much Tesla dropped since then. So yes, it was technically still green, but overall, we got a, a bit of a drop as time went on. And now the question remains, what's going to happen to Tesla? Did Elon Musk cause this? What's happening with Elon Musk? Why is he making the headlines? I just want to talk about that very quickly. If you look back at Tesla's share price, we had this big drop that happened in early 2023. This was happening amidst Elon Musk selling some shares, not to mention other things as time went on. So with this going on, right, with Elon Musk selling Tesla shares, he sold them in 2021 and also throughout 2022 as we got closer and closer and closer to the Twitter acquisition, uh, not to mention him paying some taxes and doing things like that. And since that happened, please remember that in December of 2022, Elon Musk promised that he would not sell more Tesla stock for about two years. And so far, he's been keeping that promise because since there hasn't been much of a record of him selling even more shares. So that's a good piece of news for Tesla. But the question is, will he end up breaking the promise? Is this going to change as time goes on? So we're seeing some headlines coming out. They're basically saying that Elon Musk might sell more Tesla stock in 2024. Now, just to be clear, guys, there's no reason to expect sales this year. I don't see Elon Musk selling any shares this year at all. Uh, but for 2024, please remember that two years ago, uh, not two years ago, sorry, uh, in December of 2022, once two years pass, it's going to be December of 2024. That's very close to a year from now. That's when the two-year mark is going to be made. And starting then, we could see Musk sell more shares. So we have quite some time until then. But this article is saying that Musk might end up breaking the promise because of what's happening with X. And there are no guarantees about that, though. Nothing is confirmed by Musk or anything like that. So we'll have to wait and see if that ends up being the case. But please know that there's no confirmation, there are no promises that Elon Musk is going to end up selling Tesla shares. He's going to be selling out of Tesla again. Nothing is confirmed just yet. So don't necessarily lose it. Don't become too scared. It's going to be fine. As of right now, you know, two years from 2022, December is going to be December of 2024. And that's around the time we might see him sell again, or maybe, you know, maybe a little before. It doesn't really matter because he did say it would be about two years until you do it again uh, or possibly do it again. So with that being said, uh, you know, he's likely not going to sell shares for the short term, but there is a risk that he could sell them a little bit earlier than expected, maybe by like mid 2024, like this article is suggesting because of what's happening with X. I just want to break that down very briefly about why this is leading to some concerns. So looking at some large transactions, Elon Musk was buying Twitter, which is now X and things were doing quite well at least as time went on, but now the performance of it is not looking as great according to some reports. So when Musk bought the company, Twitter was generating about $1.2 billion in revenue each quarter. It was producing bottom line profits, doing very, very uh, okay. Not, not the best, if anything. But what happened was as time went on, Musk laid off about 80% of the Twitter staff at the time. And he was saying that the company was losing about $4 million a day. And they claimed that they were actually very close to break even in April of 2023, according to Musk. And that also, that, that mathematics works out very well with what was going on. 
But one thing that's worth noting is that as time went on, the revenue may have continued to deteriorate. Uh, according to the source, who, according to a source who invests in X, basically, and they're saying that the cash flow is still negative, and on top of that, uh, the lack of advertising things like that could hurt the platform. At least according to that investor. So, with that being said, there is a possibility that the losses for X could be between 100 million and 200 million per quarter, at least right now, for the short term. Do I think X is going to be profitable for the long term? Yes. I think Musk is going to turn turn it the entire company around and just kill it. But for now, you know, with Musk's influence over the company, not to mention like the other CEOs doing their work, that could turn the company around. But for now, there could be some losses coming out, but this is not 100% confirmed. With this being said, if the losses are going to continue with X, there's a risk that Elon Musk could once again start selling Tesla shares to start funding it. And that this is what the article is basically saying. Now, the projections that they calculated are showing that in early 2024, Musk could sell shares again. Uh, but nothing like that is guaranteed. And I honestly feel like we don't have to worry about this because we'll find out once Musk ends up making an announcement or if this, you know, there's some kind of confirmation. Right now, nothing like this is confirmed. There's no confirmation that Musk is going to be selling the shares. And he still is keeping his promise that he won't do it again for about two years. So with that being said, starting in 2024, Musk could start selling his shares around de de December, the very end of the year. So there's a possibility he could. Will he do it late, uh, earlier on? Will he do it like in early 2024? Will he do it in the middle? There's no confirmation yet. So we can't truly say that. I'm also very confident that he's not going to sell any shares for the rest of, of this year. So I think Tesla is going to be just fine. So don't really worry about this article. Don't let this get the best of you. Uh, if something happens to X, you know, there is a risk that this could happen. So keep this on your radar just to be safe. But once again, guys, nothing is confirmed. Don't let this get the best of you. And Musk is not going to be selling Tesla shares in, in the like super short term, in my opinion. Uh, could it happen like later into 2024? It's a possibility. But right now for the short term, for the next few months, I don't see any sign of it happening. Nothing is confirmed. So don't let this get the best of you. So Tesla is going to be fine. Don't worry about Musk selling a bunch of shares and causing it to just crash again. It's not confirmed. So don't worry. All right. So I just want to make that as clear as possible. What's going on with Tesla? I'll be talking more about this in my later video. On the four hour time frame, we're still about to get a bullish cross on the PPO. It is showing some life, but we need to see Tesla try to hold above our EMAs right over here. We want to see it try to hold above 235 and try to continue to push. If we lose that, it's going to turn bearish again. So you just want to be very careful and just see how it goes. The market is still kind of flat. Uh, some could argue there's like a head and shoulders forming on Tesla. I, I wouldn't necessarily worry just yet until we see it break some levels. And the market right now, it's in a very, very uncertain state. Spy was just very choppy throughout the day. Got a nice push. And after that, it was just sideways price action as time went on. Same thing with the QQQ. We actually pushed at the very end, but it wasn't that great. So we'll be watching to see if this thing tries to push a little bit higher before we get more downside later on or not. I'll be breaking down more details about this later on, guys. I just want to talk about Elon Musk real quick. So with that being said, uh, make sure you watch your levels. Be very, very patient. I'll, I'll be back in just a couple of hours to talk about Tesla and the markets with more details. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I'll be back in a couple of hours. See you guys very soon and peace out.